Let's start a new project, shall we? This simple task is the underpinning of our workflow. Making sure you're starting your project with the correct template is crucial to your experience as the project progresses. Of course, different companies are going to have different templates that are going to be used. For the benefit of this course, however, we'll be using the default Revit electrical template that comes with the software. The basic MEP templates are loaded as a default when you install Revit. The objective of this video was to find the correct templates needed to get started and take a quick look at the Revit interface. So to get started, let's jump into Revit, of course. This is what's called the home screen. Notice on the left panel, we have models, we have open, and we have new. I'm interested here in clicking on the new button. This will bring up our new project dialog and we can choose a template file here. Nine times out of 10, or 99 times out of 100, you're gonna create a new project. If we really wanted to create a new template, we'd click project template and start with the defaults here. But let's make sure we have it clicked on new project. If we don't see the template file we want here, we can click browse. This puts us into a default folder, which in my case, I have English underscore I for Imperial, and I have all of my templates here. If we go up a level, notice that it's broken down per region. And we also have US metric. I'll be switching back and forth between US English I and US metric. But in this case, I'm gonna go back to last folder. I'll grab electrical default. I'll click open. Then I'll click OK. When Revit opens up a new model, it lands on a default view. This default view is one lighting, which makes sense because we use the electrical template. Down here in our project browser, notice that we have views, set by discipline, electrical lighting, we're in one lighting. We can scroll down under power, floor plans. Let's double click on one hyphen power. Now, if we notice we have a systems tab, click on systems. And we have an electrical panel with a bunch of electrical icons on it. Click cable tray. Now we have a width is 12 by four or 305 by 102. We can pick a point here, pick a point here. If we pick a point above it, notice that it's gonna put in the fittings. If I hit escape a couple times, I can exit the command. But notice here that the fittings are added. They would not be added if we weren't using the right template. So not only are the correct views set up in our template, but the actual physical correct parts are set up in our template. We're going to explain all this in future videos. I'm gonna delete this, that way it doesn't get in the way down the road. By doing that, I just pick a big giant box around the whole thing, then I hit delete. Let's save this file somewhere that makes sense to you. So I'll click the save button. I certainly don't wanna save it in English I. So I'll browse to where I'm keeping my exercise files. I'll just call this electrical project under file name. Notice we have an options button. Go ahead and click on that options. I just wanna make one backup. What happens is every time we click save, Revit will save a backup. We click save again. It ignores the backup it just made and adds another one. We had a maximum of three. So each saves will be a snapshot in time. I haven't found that to be very useful. So I'm just gonna bump that down to one backup. I'll click okay. I'll click save. Okay, that's it. We're ready to start a new project.